The topic of this video is rewriting equations to recognize transformations. All right, so I've got two columns here. The first column is labeled leave alone, and the second column is labeled rewrite. For all of the expressions that I have here, the parent function is seven to the x power, and it's been transformed to make these four expressions, and our job is to figure out what are the transformations. All right, first of all, let's start with the ones we're going to leave alone. We're going to leave these alone because we can see the transformations directly by looking at what's been presented to us. For example, 7 to the negative x is the same thing as 7 to the x, it's just that the x has been replaced by a negative x, which indicates horizontal reflection. Similarly, 7 to the x minus 1 power, we're going to leave that just the way it is, because going from 7 to the x to 7 to the x minus 1 power, is easily achieved by just replacing x with x subtract 1, and therefore that's indicative of a horizontal shift specifically to the right one space. However, both of these in this column will have to be rewritten because a single action cannot be used to go from the parent function to what we have here. Let's look at a couple of examples of this. We know that when we reverse the order of subtraction, it changes the sign. For example, 3 minus 2 equals 1, but 2 minus 3 equals negative 1. This is in the wrong order. We would prefer it to say x subtract 1, but instead it says 1 subtract x. So we're going to rewrite it as follows. We know that swapping the order of subtraction changes the sign of the answer. So if you want to change 1 minus x into x minus 1, then you have to put the whole thing in parentheses and a minus out in front of it. Now we can very clearly see that there are two transformations here. The x has been replaced with x subtract 1, which is indicative of a shift to the right one space, and the negative out front multiplying is indicative of a horizontal reflection. Okay, here's another one that we're going to rewrite. We're going to rewrite this as negative 7 to the x power plus 1. And in doing, we're going to see that there are two transformations for this problem as well. We can see the 7 to the x in both places. By the way, the base here is 7, not negative 7. This multiplication by negative 1 is indicative of a vertical reflection, and this add 1 outside far from x is indicative of a vertical shift up. By rewriting these, we are able to see which transformations have been applied to our problem.